bombs that destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. No, don't shoot. I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Peels. Dirty money. Pills here.
Thank you. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyr-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law, and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Bravura has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NYCNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Weapons here! This week on Address Unknown. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I'd want to end up. But that's where I always end up anyway. Only, it's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. It can speak here. It says, That's mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double, nods and smirks at this like it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and then something goes wrong, and suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. That's when I always wake up to my own screen in that bright lily white hospital room strapped to my bed. Red Bull Green! <laughs> 
It's always red or blue in the movies. So, green? No, not the green. Vinny Gogniti, just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you! What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop, you ain't got squat on us! You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! What the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss! Gagnini bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. crumpled letter lay on Gagniti's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagniti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Vinny Cogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Cogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Gagniti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. <laughs> 